iHeartRadio Broadway, driven by Mercedes-Benz. The best or nothing. Hi, I'm SJ Arniger for iHeartRadio Broadway. So first and foremost, congratulations on the film. It is truly a beautiful adaptation from someone that saw the play. Um, so John Patrick Shanley, my first question's for you. It's been a while since your last stage to film adaptation. So why was Outside Mullingar the perfect project to be then become Wild Mountain Time? Well, because you can't beat Ireland. Uh, and I wanted to make Ireland the main character of the film to celebrate the animals and the weather and the people all as one. And uh, with this, I was able, everybody who's seen the film says the same thing. They want to go to Ireland. So I'm happy about that. So John Hamm, what attracted you to the script for Wild Mountain Time to be part of the film? Well, I too saw the, uh, the original production on Broadway and I was absolutely floored by it. Um, and, you know, I think every, in, in the same way that John says when people see the film, they want to go to Ireland. I think when people saw the play, they, they wanted to fall in love. And I think that that's, uh, that's an absolutely beautiful takeaway. It's a, it's a love story that has, is completely devoid of cynicism or snark or anything else. It's, it's a fable about, about falling in love. And uh, I think we could use a little bit of that toward the end of this particular year in this particular time. Amen to that. Um, one of my favorite moments that happens in this film is the lovely homage to the Manhattan Theater Club as the Broadway radio station. I just truly loved that that was included. Was that something that you had always planned on including in the film? Absolutely. And in fact, it was the last shot of the film. When I said cut, that was the end of our shooting altogether. Uh, and I thought a very fitting way. It began there and it ended there. And then last question for John Hamm, um, for those that didn't see the, the stage play and for those that are just learning about Wild Mountain Time, how would you describe this film to somebody? Uh, yeah, kind of what I, uh, what I just said, it's a, it's a fable. It's a beautiful story about people that can't get out of their own way to find the love that they really deserve. And uh, there's, there's nothing sweeter than that especially when you set it in the most beautiful place in the world and score it to some of the most beautiful music and populate it with emily blunt and jamie dornan i think uh you got the man john ham saturday night right there <laughs> and chris walken yeah. well i'm going to follow up with one follow follow-up question then is it was this the dream cast for you to have in wild mountain time absolutely it was the magnificent seven except it was five <laughs> still, a prime, still a prime number. <laughs> Perfect. That's all I needed. So thank you so much and congratulations. It's truly a beautiful film. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks SJ. Robert. Thank you so much. iHeartRadio Broadway, driven by Mercedes-Benz. The best or nothing.